Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry for the weird intro. I um, recorded an entire video and then realized it's not going to let me upload it because I have to do it through YouTube or something. I don't know what it's doing, but anyways, we're back. Long time no see. It's been a few years. I've missed you guys. A lot has happened. Um, I will probably do a video explaining where I've been, where I want my channel to go, all of that. Um, mental health, physical health, all that good stuff. And uh, until then, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul. I just got back from the Dollar Tree. It is hot as balls outside. So I decided, you know what? I found some cool stuff. I've been watching a lot of Dollar Trees lately. And so it inspired me to go check out my Dollar Tree and see if I could find some stuff. So I found a couple goodies. And I'm just going to get into it because I have quite a bit here. So I'm just going to try to like go through it as fast as I can. Um, if you guys have found some cool stuff at your Dollar Trees, let me know in the comments below because for a buck, you really can't beat it, especially now that they're starting to bring out name brand stuff at the Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty excited. I'll save the best stuff for the last because I got some really cool makeup that I'm really, really excited about. So I can't wait to show you guys. But just to get started, I will go ahead and show you these. I got this Ultra Max um, Arm & Hammer uh, three in one body wash shampoo and conditioner. It is 12 fluid ounces. So I did get two of these in cool water. It's really good. It's a really good fresh scent. I thought this would be really cool if you're going camping just to pour some of this into a trial size um, or into a little travel size bottle and then you have all three of the things you need and so it's kind of a space saver and you have everything you need in one so you really can't beat that. I grabbed myself a cup or two, um, two pairs. I grabbed myself a pair of sandals for the pool because you know, you can never have sandals for a buck for the pool. If they get ruined, screw them. It's just a dollar. I grabbed this Alka, or a, yeah, Alka 65 alkaline water plus electrolytes. It's supposed to restore and hydrate. This is a huge bottle. This is 50.7 fluid ounces, excuse me. So I got that. I got one for me, one for the husband to see if he likes it. Um, but yes, yeah, it's four servings per container and it has nothing in it, just water, but it's supposed to say purified water with electrolytes added for great taste. So we shall check that out and see. I did get the Monster Hydro Zero Sugar. I've been seeing a lot of people haul this. Um, this is basically, it says non-carbonated purified water that helps reduce fatigue, energy drink, helps increase concentration, and it has vitamins B3 and B6. It tastes like a watered down monster. That's what it tastes like to me, a sugar-free monster. It's completely watered down. Um, that's really what it tastes like. It's good, I like it because I do water down my monsters anyways, but a lot of people don't, so I don't. So just that's just what I think of it. So if you don't like that, then it's probably not something that you would want to try. But I figured for a dollar, I'll give it a shot. I grabbed some kids sunscreen for my nephews when they come over and go to the pool. So you can never have too much sunscreen. I grabbed some hydrogen peroxide for the bathroom for the first aid kit because we're almost out. I grabbed my favorite Tic Tacs of all time is the Fruit Adventure. I got my nephews, all my nephews obsessed with these. We all love them. I grabbed some flossers because these are the best. This is the best deal. 60 flossers and they're mint and these are so good. I love these things. I grabbed some coconut scented hand wipes and they do. They smell like coconut. This smells so good. So I'm excited. I'm going to put those in my purse because you can never have um, wipes and stuff, especially if you have my nephews in the car and stuff. It's always good to have this stuff. Uh, they can wipe their hands down. We will be having a garage sale next week. So I grabbed some of these tags that I can sell some clothes. So I can put some strings on the clothes so they don't have to, you know, look. Um, I don't have to put tag individual tags or sticker tags. That way they don't fall off. I grabbed a jumbo word find pad. I'm super excited about this. I'm going to do this tonight. I love, I love word finds. And then I got a Sudoku one because this is my favorite. Fun fact, when I quit smoking 14 years ago, Sudoku was one of the re one of the things that helped me um, quit smoking. I went to, I had my stepdad hypnotize me, but then when I was really craving a cigarette, I would just sit and do Sudoku for hours and it helped me, helped me quit smoking. So I was super excited about those. I haven't done those in years. So I grabbed some of those. I got two books and this is uh, The Liar's Room. It's two liars, one room, no way out. And it's about a lady who um, changed her name and her or changed her identity and, and ran away and tried to start a new life. And then uh, she becomes a therapist. And then somebody comes into her room and starts asking questions. So she starts to wonder if maybe he knows her past from her past. And it's from Simon Lelick. 
and I just thought for a dollar it's a thriller my favorite kind of books originally it was $16 so you can't beat that so I was I was reading the back I was excited to uh see if I would like that so I'm gonna read that book that's one of my goals this year it was to read more books I haven't read any yet this year so I'm like okay get started if I read like two that's more than I've read in years so um so I'm working on it I'm working on it and then I got this one, Finding You, Taken from Home and Family, All They Have is Each Other by Lydia Albino. I just thought that was really cute. Um, this one this one looks really good. It's about um, girls being sold to uh, a sadistic aristocrat is what it says. And they're locked in a dungeon and there's dozens of them and then they slowly start to disappear. So I'm guessing they're being sold. Um, and then th these three girls, I think it's three. It's either two or three. I think, I think it's three. I think it's what I read. Um, they try to survive and they try to escape. So I thought that was really cool because what a f fudged up story. Like that's just disgusting. But to see people survive and fight and I, you know, I love that. And this was originally $17.99. You know, when I watch movies like this, you know, I watch a lot of Lifetime movies and I'm always like, get him, you know, F him up. Like, you know, fight back. I'm like, don't be a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always like that. I'm like, come on, girl, girl power. So, so that'll be exciting to, to read. Hopefully that's really good. And then my other little bag of goodies. Sorry for the noise. I got this candle making set. It is in Fresh Linen, Magnolia, and Coastal Breeze. I got this for my nephew when he comes over. He loves candles, so I thought that'd be something fun that we could do together, or I could just watch him. He can make a little candle, so I thought he'd like that. And while we're on candles, I did buy two candles, even though I don't ever burn them. They just smelled so good, and they were so cute that I couldn't pass them up. One was Boardwalk Driftwood, and one's Coral Surf, and they smell so good. This one's just like fruity, fruity, flowery, and fresh all in one. It's so good. And then this one reminds me of like a, really like a strong crystal light or a strong juice. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells so good. But anyways, so there's those. And then I use this stuff all the time. Not this brand. I use Mario Badescu's. Um, so I got this one because I figured, you know, it's a buck and his is like, what, 20 so this is the um, drying lotion with calamine. So I got this, and so I'm curious to see if this works as well. This is good for um, if you have pimples, like big ones. Like I get them usually right in here because I wear my glasses at work all day, or like you know your mask knee. So it's really good for just put. You just literally take a Q-tip, you put it all the way to the bottom, and then you just put it on at night, and it dries them right out. And it really does help minimize them a lot. Um, so if you don't have that stuff or you've never used it, I definitely recommend if you have like me where I break out all the time. I got my nephew a pair of um, sandals for the pool. I grabbed some pens for my Sudoku and my word finds. I got my little nephew a little pair of the goggles that have the, um, the little nose coverings. Because he's only four, so he's just learning how to swim. Like, well, he's not learning yet, but he... Uh, will be soon and he doesn't like to put his face in the water because he always gets the water up his nose so again we're having a garage sale so i grabbed some of the these these are such a good deal you have 360 pieces and they have um even blank ones in here yeah 72 blank ones so that's a good deal so i'm excited about that and then I got these little swim goggles. My nephew, again, he doesn't put his head under the water, but he loves to wear goggles because he think, cause when they splash each other, then it doesn't get in his eyes. So I got him little shark ones because I thought he'd like those because he loves sharks and dinosaurs. And I got him a little shirt, just a little navy shirt. I got me some dry erase markers. I like these kind because they are magnetic on this part so they stick onto my board so they don't fall off because they always fall off and fly all over the place and then I can't find them and I haven't had some in forever and it's been driving me crazy so I finally found some. All right, and then to the makeup. I'm so excited. I found some Wet n Wild. So I've been watching a lot of people haul um, the Hard Candy, Maybelline, L'Oreal. I've been looking for all that. Here in Oregon, we don't ever, we're like the last ones to get anything. So I was excited. I did find one Maybelline thing. So I was pretty stoked. So I grabbed two of those. And it is the Snap Snapscara in Black Cherry. So I got that. And it is a mascara. 
I got, uh, I found some Wet n Wild stuff. I got the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss Balm. And this is in the flavor 2222 Tango. And then I did get this Tame and Define, and this is for your eyelashes and your eyebrows. So I thought that was really cool. I don't have super thick eyebrows, but when I put my liner on, I like to have stuff like that. So I thought that would be really cool. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got another eye or another mascara. And this is in Very Black from Wet n Wild. It's a Mega Wear mascara. So we're gonna give that a try. And then I got another one of the Maybelline one, same color, and it's in it's in the black cherry. I just think that color is pretty. And then I got a metallic lipstick. This is in the color Honey Glaze. So it's kind of like a coppery color. Isn't that pretty? This one right here. Sorry. I just think that's pretty. And then I got this one. And this is a metallic liquid eyeshadow. And this is in the color You Copper Cat. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I can't wait to try that. I'm so excited. And then I got another eyeshadow. And this is called Putty in My Hands. And this is just a cream liquid eyeshadow. So it's not metallic. I just love it. And then liquid lipstick, and this is a matte lipstick, and it's Coral Corruption, and this is from Wet n Wild. I'm doing it like this so you guys can kind of see the color better. Sorry for the lighting, I'm house sitting, so, uh, or I'm dog sitting, and somebody else is in my sister's house, so <laughs> I don't have the best lighting. Um, and then I got the Natural Under Eye Serum with Sea Buckthorn. I figured, you know what, I have these bags right here. I figure, you know what, anything might help. So we'll give that a try. That's from Beauty Guru. It just has a roll-on applicator, so we'll see if that works. I got the Gelato Lip Balm because it was just so stinking cute. Look at that. I could not pass it up. It was so cute. I love that. And then I got this Hyaluronic Acid. It's 1% plus Vitamin C Serum. It's Hydration, Radiant, and Antioxidant from Skin Nutrition's Botanicals. So I figure for a buck, I'll give it a shot. It kind of reminds me of the Ordinary Bottle. So I figure, you know, I'll give it a shot. Never hurts to try. Not like I have a good skincare regimen anyways. So, And then a couple more things and that is it. We got this uh, Wet n Wild um, Keep It Peachy blush. I just think this is really pretty color. I think this would be really good for the fall. And Liquid Cat Suit. This one's my favorite. This is an eyeshadow in Ruby Heist. Look at that color. Is that not gorgeous? I got this in the, this in, um, in the fall, that, per, that color. Ooh, baby. That's going to be pretty. And then I got this highlighter. It's a liquid highlighter in Rosy and Ready. And these are all wet and wild. Because I know like these, what were these going for like $4.99, $5.99 at like Rite Aid and Walgreens and they're a buck. Like you can't beat a dollar. And then I have this one, Liquid Cat Suit Metallic Lipstick in Satin Sheets. And this is a metallic one. And then I got some crazy glue because you can never have too much crazy glue around the house. And then I did get one more of the Wet n Wild. This is the Ultra wild shine it's like ultra shiny and it really is it it's good i opened this one already because my lips are so dry earlier i shouldn't talk when i'm trying to put lip gloss on huh lip gloss but yeah so super shiny i like it um it's a little bit i wouldn't say sticky it's just really wet so but that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I tried not to get too much and spend too much money because we're trying to save up to move in April. So again, I'll do a video explaining everything and kind of telling you guys plans and stuff like that. Um, so I hope you liked this haul. I was able to find some wet and wild, so I was pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm gonna do a video coming up soon, uh, trying all this. So I figured that would be a lot of fun and we'll just try all the mascaras and see how we like them and stuff. If you guys are able to find them at your, at your Dollar Trees, let me know because I love to hear from you guys and see what you guys have found. Um, it's been a long time since I've been able to talk to you guys. So I'm excited to finally be back and be able to chit chat with you and talk and stuff. So I hope you guys are safe. I hope everything's fine with your families. Um, COVID's been kind of crazy for everybody. So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys have a good 4th of July. Hopefully this video will be up at 4th of July. Uh, I 
I cannot talk up today, which is 4th of July. So I hope you were able to spend it with family and um, I wish you guys well. And I appreciate everybody who's stuck around all these years, even though I haven't posted videos, I can't thank you enough. Um, again, if you want, if you like this kind of content, I'm going to do hauls. I might look into getting some editing software and trying to do some try on hauls because I know there's a lot of people out there that are plus size, but they don't have the body that I do. So I figured if maybe, if, you know, I could show some clothes in my size that might help somebody else who's maybe around my size. Um, and also I am going to be going on a mental health and well, I've been on a mental health journey, journey, like, you know, getting better and stuff. And, uh, also, um, getting healthy on the outside as well. So that's something I have to work on. Uh, so that will also be coming up in some videos. I'll be talking more about that. So I hope you guys are safe and I hope you have a good fourth and I will talk to you later. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys have found at your Dollar Tree or what some things I should keep my eyes out for. I watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. I do have a crafting haul probably coming up of some crafting stuff that I've bought. I've been doing a lot of DIYs, so maybe I'll do some DIYs on this channel. Let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. Do you want to see like DIYs and stuff that I do? It's nothing huge. It's just fun little things that I enjoy that makes me feel good because, you know, sometimes you just got to get out of your head and that stuff always makes me feel good and, uh, you know, so let me know if that stuff you guys, if that stuff you guys want to see or if stuff you like. Um, again, I will talk to you later. Definitely subscribe if you want to stick around and see all the randomness that I have coming up. All right. I love you guys so much and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and I hope you have a good day. All right.